Hey guys, it's Dean Trainer here, back with another video, and today I'm going to talk about my book, The Boy Who Became Fearless, which is one I've been working on for an extremely long time, and I'm hoping to get it published soon, or whenever, as I've been working on this, like, not so long novel, but it's kind of like a children's book like kind of adventure themed like a bit of Tottenham Castle and this stuff featuring the main protagonist who is the main character who made me very famous it's this little guy his name is Dean Dean Fearless is his name the main protagonist and he's also like it's not going to be a normal story, we're basically just doing this for normal kids. No. He's going to be a prince in this thing. He's going to rule the whole entire kingdom of Fearlessville. That's what, exactly what he's going to do. And the original thing of this novel is actually written in this pink notebook, which I have been working on for an extremely long time, because I've been working on it since Easter in 2020. And it is now summer 2022, so it's basically been over a year that I've been working on it. And I'm still trying to like type it and edit it because I need to clean up my hyped up manuscript to get it done. And hopefully soon I'll be able to publish it. So it's kind of like a story about Dean Fearless. Who basically, well, this is long, well before he became fearless, but he basically learned how to overcome his fears through the whole entire thing. So it's basically like first, he kind of, he kind of like lives a fearful life, and then he's kind of, and then he kind of grows up and learns how to face his fears, along with the help of his friend Shanley who is two years older than him. Shanley is 11 years old and Dean is nine years old. So Dean's basically the younger one, the younger boy. And they both live in a castle each. However, Dean's castle is more bigger. And so it's basically like a big long story that I've been working on for a really long time. So it's kind of like Dean Fearless, the prince, who soon learns to face his fears and becomes a really famous young kid, like in his school and all over the whole entire kingdom of Fearlessville. But, however, he does not struggle with just fears in this book. He also struggles with trouble. And one of those troubles is getting bullied by two older lads named Jason and Sean. I I can't think of any other names than them because because that's the only thing I'm thinking of. And basically, it's kind of like when when Jason and Sean bully Dean and Stanley. It's kind of like they're they're basically getting slagged and called names and. The, the two older teenagers want to like rip up Dean and Shadley's notebooks, like sketchbooks. And like in these sketchbooks, Dean and Shadley would write about their friendship and also their adventures that they would have. That would also inspire them to write short stories, which Shadley would read to Dean as a bedtime story every single night. Because every night Dean would have very terrifying nightmares because he, like, all my other characters struggle with only, like, one fear but Dean, he struggles with two because Dean's fears are well, he's are the dark and and the enclosed spaces so basically like, when it's dark he gets very fearful and he, because he doesn't know, like what's hiding in the dark or like 
much air and you can everything is just really there to go as a griffin and then it's kind of like throughout the story Dean learns more and more about fearlessness and bravery all that kind of stuff and then by the end of it well 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 it does end in a happy ending however I'm not going to spoil that for you well and like it's kind of like every time I write a cute story like a short story or a long story it's kind of like they have happy endings because obviously well fantasy stories like children's stories or like most people have happy endings and stuff and like this story is all about fearlessness and bravery and the whole shebang and basically that's basically it however i don't know how how much i need to edit in it because there's a lot to edit when you when you're editing a book so books to write print edit whatever they take a really long time to edit them yeah so it's kind of like yeah so basically it's like dean the fearful prince the younger boy basically learns to overcome his fears and enjoy the positive side of life so the, the main goal of the story is for my protagonist Dean to basically live a fearless life and not struggling with fears or getting bullied so yeah that's basically the whole story basically however so it's kind of like Dean and Sally going on adventures and hanging around together and playing video games and making videos online basically like kind of like what the kids do basically however every time Dean and Sally go on adventures it's kind of like and they're basically turning it into a short story kind of like how how this story was kind of inspired by my life but instead of having myself in the story we're having Dean and Stanley the two best friends who basically met at the ages 7 and 9 years old because when Stanley fell when he was 9 and then when Dean fell at school he was only 7 and basically since they met they basically their friendship basically grew and grew and became way better like basically they became best friends like they're literally inseparable everywhere Dean goes Stanley goes everywhere Stanley goes Dean goes that's why they're always going on fascinating adventures and brave encounters and having fun while I'm just here basically writing about the their adventures even though it's in brave encounter mode which is really nice but look, I'm living my best life. I'm writing this story right here. And I'm hoping for it to get published. So. And then I've also written some short stories that, that I kind of like got from writing this. And I also have them here. I've written a couple of them. So, yeah. However, the first one was actually in inspired by one of the short stories I wrote for for like Stanley to tell Dean in the novel, and it's basically called The Brave Prince, which is one of the stories that I've written. And then, like in the like it's a PlayStation notebook that I got, and I've just written all stories in that. And then I wrote another one, which was also inspired by the the book it was kind of it was called the boy and the punk who ruled the kingdom but but in my novel it was called 
the guy in the punk who ruled the world. And in my in my novel, it's about a young boy named Alfie and his punk Buster going on a trip. But in my short story version I wrote of it, it's like it's it's basically like instead of instead of Alfie and his punk Buster, it's gonna be Prince Dean and his punk Rufus. And they go on all sorts of adventures. And then it's like it's kind of like about Dean like finding out that he's that his pug Rufus is very brave when usually like pugs aren't really brave they're just sometimes dumb but like I kind of like pugs I like pugs a lot and it's kind of like like I've written a lot of short stories like in that notebook that I've been working on and I've been writing a whole bunch of them I've also read a few to my teachers and it was it was well, it was kind of embarrassing. But I enjoyed it. And like and like the only way I could make myself less nervous while reading them to my teacher because I was getting like the butterflies in my stomach. Like you know that weird like tickety feeling or something. Yeah. I basically got that while trying to read them, so so I've just so I've just pretend like because I had my being fearless teddy like sitting in front of me because my teacher because my teacher just placed him in front of me so it like, just looked like I was reading to him and then I was pretending to the teacher I was like I was just like okay I'll pretend you're not here and then I just so I'm basically just doing this right I was basically just reading the book and I was there making eye contact with Dean I was just forgetting that the teacher was there like the teacher and my friend. So I was forgetting that they were there. Because I thought like I was in the Queen of Fearlessville or wherever other place my stories take place. Because like I was pretending I was at home reading a bedtime story to Dean just to get him to sleep. But like trust me, it's really hard getting Dean to sleep sometimes. Like even when I try to get to sleep myself. However, I cannot get to sleep sometimes. And it is really, really, really annoying. So it was really... Let me just tell you that it's a really long process when writing a book. Because writing a book takes a lot of time and effort. And it also takes... Like, knowing more of the English language. Like... Because you need to know a lot about the English language. And you need good grammar. And let me tell you something. Every time I read through this. Half of my sentences do not make any sense. <laughs> so that's why I have to keep editing them and stuff. To do it. And then this is a notebook that I have. Filled with my short stories that I've written. Inspired by my novel. The Boy Who Became Fearless. And don't ask why they labeled it bedtime stories for Dean. For Dean only. Because first when I was writing these stories, I just wanted to keep them to myself. Well, to read to Dean before bed. Because you know how in my stories you demand a bedtime story every night? Yeah. That's basically all I could keep them to. And to be honest, Reading a book or writing makes you sleep faster, too. And also, if you drink a glass of milk and read a book, which which is really good, it makes you sleep faster. And to be honest, in the Wonder Stories, I wrote about Dean going to bed and having the best dream of his life, which was split into two short stories. So, yeah. Because the, the ones I've written in it, right? You can't really hear them. The first one is called The Brave Prince. The, the, the second one is called Little Dean's Lucky Friends. And the third one is called The Boy and the Pug Who Ruled the Kingdom. 
and the fourth one is called Doing Big Typing Adventure. And then we've got Games Wonderful Dream. And then we have another great adventure, which is the second story of Doom's Dream. And then we've got Doom's Extraordinary Quest. And then we have The Adventures of a Brave Prince. And then we have Doom's Doom Friend. And we also have Dean and the Spud Stock. Don't act that's like my my own retelling of the story yet in the boot stock, but with but with Dean. And then we have Dean's Fun Halloween. And then the last story I wrote in it, which I wrote in school a while ago, before I left, is called Dean's Brave Friendship. So yeah, they're basically the short stories that I've written in this book. However, I'm kind of nervous about reading them out on camera, but who cares, I might give it a try. And uh, let me know what you think of it in the comments or something. Okay, this time, not the first time. So the story I'm going to read you is the first story that I've written in this notebook called The Brave Prince. So, the story goes like this. There once was a young prince named Dean, who was kind, funny, and extremely brave. This prince was not scared of anything. This brave little prince was ready for any courageous test that was ready to be let complete. This little prince wouldn't even flinch at anything that would get in the way. Dean would bravely stand up and defeat the scary creatures that were attacking him. The, the boy would grab his sword and take that monster down, saving the kingdom of Fearlessville. For little Dean, the bravest prince in the entire kingdom, would also go on many adventures with his best pal Stanley. And they would both take down all those fearsome monsters that attacked him. The brave prince and his friend would stick together to take down the dreadful monsters as they were both brave and fearless. However, a quest soon had to be complete. The boys saw a fearsome creature attack Dean's castle. They both got out their swords and fought the nasty beast that bent over the castle. They weren't fearful at the sight since they saw they weren't fearful at the sight they saw. Since Dean and Stanley weren't scared of the beast, the two little boys ran towards the fearsome creature to save their kingdom from danger. As the creature tried to bre breathe fire all over the young prince's castle, the boys soon heard the fire-breathing beast roar as Dean and Stanley stuck the blades of their swords into it. Dean watched as the creature was defeated as it couldn't move or stand up. Dean the bravest prince and his best friend Stanley were thrilled as their little kingdom was saved and there was no fire breathing beast attacking the kingdom of Fearlessville no more. Dean fearless, Dean and Stanley could now live in peace as the two little boys successfully completed their fearless quest and they lived happily ever after. The end. So yeah, let me know what you think of the story in the comment section and I maybe might read more on camera, like, when I feel like it, or just, just let me know what type of stories you, do, you would like to hear from this notebook. And hopefully you can probably give me some more ideas for more of Dean's fantastic adventures and fearless quests that he could go on in the next video so yeah hope you enjoyed and i will see you all next time and also have a good afternoon or a good night and i will see you all next time and 
also was asleep. So if you need me to, I'll I'll read you another bedtime story. So bye.